my name is Mocha.vid and welcome back to my channel. So first I'd like to somewhat apologize for being absent. I have been busy with finals and stuff and lately I've been busy with Con Crunch because Anime Midwest is coming up. So there's just been a lot going on. Also, if you want to find out about my Anime Midwest stuff, then wait until after the little end card and I will be talking about Anime Midwest. I recently uploaded a video of just a painting time lapse because I had really nothing else to post and I wanted to post something, so if that was boring, I apologize. I just wanted to get something up on my channel. So today I decided with Anime Midwest coming up in a couple weeks huh, to do a little 25 tips for new con goers. My first con was in, I believe, 8th grade during March or May and it was C2E2. I had a pretty good time. I definitely learned some things about do's and don'ts, and it was, fun fact, my first time cosplaying. We never talk about that cosplay though, and I would never show it, ever. Get that. Technically, my first con was in like sixth grade with a friend who took me to Dash Con, but we don't talk about that. Also, look at you can see my sewing machine because I took a break from sewing to make this video. <laughs> so, without any further ado, let's just jump right into these con tips. First tip remember to eat. Some cons offer free food, such as Anime Midwest and Con Alt Delete, and you can get ramen, chips, rice, and sometimes cake after the main cafe is over, but I've never been there to see it, so I don't know. You can also get soda, but remember, this food is not substance. You need to eat actual food, whether it's ordering something or stepping outside for a little bit so you can go get some real food. You need to eat. If you're hungry, you can't enjoy the con as best as you would if you're not, you know, starving. If you don't feel like you have time to eat throughout the con, at least eat some snacks throughout the day. It's not the best thing, but it definitely helps. Number two, going along with that, you need to drink water. You have to stay hydrated. You don't want to accidentally pass out from dehydration. Also, soda does not count. Soda makes you more thirsty. You need to drink water. Three, dress for the weather outside. If you're wearing a super revealing costume in the middle of winter or a heavy costume in the middle of summer, then you might want to add or remove some layers depending on the weather. I understand wanting to be accurate. I wore a strapless dress that I made with some tights and heels to a winter con, and I was going to take photos outside in the snow, but I decided I'd rather not freeze to death. So if you're trying to do a photo shoot in the winter with some clothes that aren't going to keep you warm, at least bring a jacket for when you're not taking photos, so that way you can at least stay a little bit warm. And if you're wearing like a really heavy coat in the middle of summer, just remove the coat for a little bit while you're walking outside. You don't want to accidentally pass out from exhaustion. Also, just generally try to stay indoors if you're not dressed for the weather, or at least limit your time outside so then that way you won't damage your own body. Number four, if you burn easily and are going to a summer con, try to bring sunscreen. Chances are you're probably not planning on spending too much outside unless it's an outdoor con, which I've personally never seen, but if you are going to be spending some time outside, whether it's walking from one building to another and like you burn really easily, or if you're doing a photo shoot outside, just try to bring some sunscreen so in that way you don't get burnt. Number five, try to make a list of things to bring or pack depending on if you're going there for the day or staying in a hotel. I personally have never stayed in a hotel so I can't completely say what to pack and not to pack, but there are videos on how to pack for a con and those will be linked in the description below if you want to check those out. And again, because I don't stay in a hotel, I usually bring a backpack to keep me organized for the day. I always try to write out what I need a little bit ahead of time and then check it off as I put it in, just because it makes it a little bit easier to make sure I have everything I need, so I suggest doing the same if you need it. For example, for the day I usually bring my phone charger, my camera, my camera charger, my cosplays for the day including wig, shoes, costume itself, or anything else I might need, lip balm, makeup in case it gets messed up or if I'm changing costumes, makeup wipes for removing makeup, extra wig caps in case some of them get lost in the bottom of my bag or fall out of my wig or something, money for the day, badge, and anything else I might need. Number six, 
try not to lose your badge. The first big con I ever went to, I actually lost my badge. So that was fun. I lost it on a Saturday, so it wasn't too bad, so I just didn't have it for that Sunday. But it was really inconvenient because I couldn't go into the dealer's hall, and at that time I wasn't really going to panels anyways, so I ended up leaving early on Sunday because they couldn't do anything for me. I also am notorious for forgetting my badge when I'm going to cons and my dad has to bring it for me and then he gets mad at me and then it's just this whole thing and one time I had a panel I had to be in and it, just try to remember your badge. <laughs> make sure you always have it with you and check to make sure you have it before you leave the house throughout the day and before you leave the con. Usually what I do, because I don't like wearing it around my neck or attached to a costume, unless I have a belt loop, I'll tie it to my belt loop. But if I don't have anything like that, then I will tie it to my backpack. That usually helps because then it just hangs right by me, and if someone asks for a photo, I can just slip off my backpack and I don't have to maneuver my way out of my con badge. <laughs> 7. Make sure you know where your panels are. Being lost is not fun. 8. Make sure you understand the map. Some maps can be so confusing, where it's like, there's a triangle here, and a square here and then I need to be at circle but I don't know how to get there and just spend a little bit of time looking at the map. A lot of cons put their map up online so just kind of get a feel for where things are and if you need help feel free to ask anyone. People are usually really kind about it. 9. Make plans ahead of time. That always helps me especially because I am in panels and I like to hang out with friends so I personally go way too far and I will say this is the time I'm getting at, I have a panel here, this is the time I need to change because I know this is going to take me this long and I have to do my makeup which is going to take me this long and I'm going to spend this time eating and I'm going to spend this time in the dealer's hall. I do that but I don't always stick to it. If I say I'm going to be at the dealer's hall at 5 but I end up hanging out with my friend in the con suite at 5 then I don't freak out about it. I just like to have a general idea of where I want to be when. Although you obviously don't have to go that far, I still recommend looking into where you want to be when, generally, so then that way you know travel time from point A to point B, if it's going to take you a long time, and you know generally where to be. 10. Please, for the love of God, shower. And going off with that, sleep. Please sleep. Don't stay up all night. Don't con crunch because you're wearing a costume tomorrow. You need sleep or else you will be grumpy and you will not have a good time and no one else around you will have a good time. So please, please sleep. 11. Do not spend all your money on the same day. And set aside money for meals. This is very important. Obviously, if you're going through the dealer's hall and you see something like, I want that, if there's not an extreme limited supply like, oh, this is the last one and we're never making these again, then if you really, really want it, then I guess go ahead and buy it. But if it's something that's not like that, continue to walk around because you might, si you might find something else that you really want, but you won't have enough money for it because you bought that little stuffed strawberry back at the other place. My friend actually has a story about this and she gave me permission to tell this, so thank you, Kathy. I love you. So my friend's parents gave her $80 for her first con, and she was only there for the day because she had to go to DC later. She ended up wasting all of that money on posters and buttons, and when she got home, she got yelled at by her parents. To this day, she has not lived it down. So obviously, don't just save your money because you might get in trouble with your parents. Like, it just, it just helps you better as well. 12. Be respectful of other people. I don't care if they're a cosplayer or not, you need to be respectful of other people or else you will ruin other people's con experiences. 13. Going off of that, and I feel like this needs to be separate because a lot of people don't understand this, be respectful to people with disabilities. As I'm not a person with disabilities, I feel like I can't completely talk about this subject because I don't want to say something wrong, so I'll be linking something in the description for more information on how to respect people with disabilities at cons, cosplayers with disabilities, or just in general. 14. Be respectful of yourself. Know your boundaries and don't force yourself to go anywhere or do anything that you know or think will make you uncomfortable. Even at cons, you have to practice self-care. If something may physically, emotionally, or mentally hurt you for whatever reason, then don't do it. Just be kind to yourself. 15. Make sure to take breaks.
cons are a lot of walking and standing, so especially if it's your first time and you're not used to that, then definitely make sure to take breaks. If you get tired, sit, but not in the middle of the hallway. Please, please do not sit in the middle of the hallway. Find a wall, sit against it. Find a place to sit, sit there. Obviously don't ask someone to move, like be respectful about it, and if someone working for the con asks you to move because you're in the way, then don't be don't be rude and say that you need to sit there. Just get up, find another place to sit, sit there, take a breather, and then you can go on your merry way. 16. Try to stick with friends. If you're going alone, then honestly, understandable, you can't stick with friends, but for your first con, I definitely recommend going with a friend. For me personally, it definitely helps me with navigating large crowds, and I personally don't like being alone at cons, but if you're a person who likes to be alone at cons, then Obviously, don't listen to this, but that's just a personal tip, is if you feel like you can't be by yourself, or if you don't want to be alone at your first con, or if it is your first con and you don't know whether to go alone or with someone, then I definitely recommend grabbing a buddy and going. It can definitely help. 17. Please don't touch cosplayers' props. They put a lot of time and effort into that, or even if they bought it, they put money into that. People really love their props, so please do not touch them unless you ask for and say, hey, can I try lifting this? Or whatever, for whatever reason. And if they say yes, then hold it. But don't swing it around. I once had someone pick up my Marshall Lee axe and they swung it around and I got so nervous. I was like, oh my god, they're gonna break my axe. Thankfully, they didn't and they didn't hit anyone with it. But just be respectful about holding other cosplayers' props and if they deny you, the ability to hold their prop, be respectful about it. 18. Don't touch cosplayers' costumes. This definitely goes with the last one with the props, but a lot of people put time, effort, and money into their costumes, no matter if they bought it or even made their own fabric. It doesn't matter. Just don't touch their costumes. It's really rude unless, again, you ask first and say, hey, that fabric looks really soft. Can I please touch it? Or something like that and they give you permission, then yeah, go ahead. But again, don't tug on it, don't rip it, don't do anything like that. And again, if they say, hey, I'd rather you not, then be respectful about it and say, okay, and just don't touch their costume. 19. Don't touch other people without asking first. I know for me personally, I don't like being touched unless they know you're going to do it beforehand. Like, hey, can I put your arm around you in this photo? Then I'll be like, yeah, sure. But if you do it, then I personally start to internally freak out so please be nice and respectful about touching other people. If you go in for like a hug or something for whatever reason, then say like, hey, can I hug you? Instead of just hugging them. Or if you want to take a photo with them, say, hey, can I put my arm around you? Is that okay? And if they say yes, then do it. If they say no, then just be respectful about it. And if you do want to pose with someone, ask, hey, what's okay for me to do with you? And they will let you know what they're okay with, whether it's just, let's stand next to each other, or you can put your arm around me, or I can bridal carry you if you're okay with it. Just be cautious and aware of other people's boundaries. And understandably, you won't know any you won't know everyone's boundaries, but just ask. 20. Try not to disrupt cosplayers who are eating. I know I'm definitely guilty of this because I have disrupted cosplayers while they're eating and they've thankfully been very respectful and they let me take a photo of them and I've had people bother me while I'm eating and I don't really mind it. Obviously if you really want a photo of that cosplayer then when they get up you can like wait for them and ask for a photo or if you really feel the need to go up with them while they're eating then just be like, hey I love your costume, can I take a photo of you? I'm sorry for bothering you while you're eating. I understand if not, and if they say no, just say, okay, I'm sorry, and that's the end of it. Again, I might be completely wrong about this with other cosplayers, because a lot of cosplayers say do not bother them while they're eating, period. So, again, I'm not like the professional opinion, this is just my opinion on what to do and what not to do, but again, I, I greatly advise against bothering cosplayers while they're eating. 21. If a cosplayer denies you a photo, be respectful. I don't care what the reason is that they deny the photo, whether it's they just don't want you to take a photo of them, their costume broke, their prop broke, anything like that, then you have to be respectful of it. 
I've seen instances where people take photos without even asking, and that's not okay either. At my first con, there was a lady walking down the stairs, talking to whoever she was with, saying, this person broke my costume, I'm so mad, I don't want anyone taking any more photos of me while my costume's broken. And someone came up and just, I don't remember what they said, but they didn't tell or ask her for photos, they just started taking photos of her and saying stuff. And I don't remember what they were saying, so I apologize. And she just kind of was in character and like let it slide, but she had literally just been saying how she didn't want people taking photos of her, and this man walks up and just starts taking photos of her. And that's not okay. If someone denies a photo, then you have to be respectful. If someone doesn't give you permission to take a photo because you didn't ask, then be respectful. You have to ask for permission. It's not okay. Understandably, if you want a candid, then just go up to them and say, Hey, can I take a candid? Then when they go back to relaxing or talking or whatever, then you can take the photo. That's okay and understandable, but just don't take it without asking first. And a lot of the times you'll see big groups of people taking photos of one person or something, and I don't usually see people asking for photos, so I think that's okay, but I'm I personally am okay with it if there's like someone else taking a photo and then someone else comes up. I personally usually ask like, hey, is it okay if I take a photo and they'll nod or whatever and I'll take a photo. So if there's like a big group of people, I don't think they'd mind if you took the photo since they've given permission for that photo. But again, I'd rather be safe than sorry, so please be respectful. <laughs> 22. Make sure to take business cards in Artist's Alley. If you look at someone's art and then you walk away and you don't take a business card or anything, then that can be really discouraging. Usually it's just a good thing to do, it's just courtesy to take a business card. If you want to check out their art again, buy something because you couldn't buy something then, then that's always a great way to. 23. Feel free to talk to other people. But again, be respectful about it. People at cons usually love meeting new people, so if you see someone in like a cosplay you really like or is cosplay fandom you like, just go like, hey, I love that costume, or I love that fandom, and like strike up a conversation if you want to. But if the conversation goes dry, then don't like be awkward about it. Just kind of be like, well, it was nice meeting you, or you can ask for their Instagram, or something like that. Just again, be respectful about it, don't say something mean. Um, if someone has to leave, be respectful of it. But again, feel free to talk to other people. Cons are a great place to make new friends. 24. Don't be scared of con security. They're there to help you. If something happens or something goes wrong, then ask for help. It's just their job, and don't be scared of them. 25. Last but not least, have fun. Cons are a place for having fun, so please be respectful of yourself, of others, of the place that you're in, and have a good time. So this is def- so this is definitely kind of a long video and I apologize for that a little bit. My videos are usually always a little bit long. Anyways, I'd like to thank my friends Kat, Jenny, Matthias, and Kathy for helping me compile this list. I love you guys. I will be linking all of their Instagrams in the description below and I definitely recommend checking them out. Matthias and Kathy both have amazing cosplay accounts and I love them with all of my heart. And Jenny and Kat are both amazing artists that you should definitely check out. Well, I guess that's gonna conclude this video. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and check out my channel. Remember, my name is Mocha.vid and I try to make videos as often as I can about a little bit of everything. Remember to do what you love, try something you new, stay safe, and I hope all of y'all have an amazing and great week. Bye! Oh, hello everyone, welcome to the end cards. So, I decided I didn't want to make a video about talking about Anime Midwest because that would be kind of obnoxious, so I thought, why not put it at the end of this one? So, Anime Midwest 2019 is coming up in a couple of weeks. And trust me, I'm freaking out. <laughs> I'm in quite a few panels, so if you want to check them out, come check them out. I'll also be recording a good number of them if you want to watch them on my channel. So right now I'm going to be talking a little bit about Anime Midwest and my lineup. <laughs>
So I will be getting there on Friday, I'm still not sure of times, and I will be with my friend Vanessa. I will be arriving in Right after that, I will be changing out of and into Rei Rei Yugazaki for the Free Summer Spectacular panel. It's basically just kind of like a Q&A panel, but it's a lot of fun. I was in the Christmas version of it, and I love these people with all of my heart, and I definitely recommend coming to see it. It's in panel room 11 at 5 p.m. And then around 6 or so, I will be changing into I am in a Disney sing-along panel for this, and this panel is going to be so much fun. We have so many talented cosplayers, so many talented singers, and I am so excited for this. I will be singing This is at 7pm in panel room 7. And then on Saturday, I will be arriving in Carlos the Scientist. I am actually hosting a panel at 11am in panel room 5, and it's going to be kind of like a Welcome to Night Vale episode mixed with a Q&A Truth or Dare. A bit later, I will be changing into Ranger Glaceon at around 4pm for an Evolution D&D group. And sadly, I'll be changing out of that around 5.30 into Shota Aizawa for a BNHA sleepover panel that is at 6 in panel room 6. It is also Q&A and games. After taking some photos in that cosplay, I'll probably be changing back into Ranger Glaceon. Depending. And then on Sunday, I will be arriving in Taco Taco and be hanging out with my friend Gabmu, and they will be in Angus and then changing into Loop. After that, I'm not completely sure when I'll be... Keep in mind, all three days I will be hanging out with friends, specifically Vanessa, because I am taking her and I love her. Her Instagram will be linked in the description below. I definitely recommend checking her out. She's not a cosplayer, but she's really pretty. I also may vlog it. If you want to see a vlog, comment down below, and I will try to. So I guess that's it for talking about Anime Midwest. So thank you for watching this little end portion, and I'll see you guys whenever. Bye!